Hello and welcome to the latest from the world of sports on New Street 60. And Ghana's parliament has passed the sports bill into law. After years of waiting, the sports bill replaces the SMC Decree 54 of 1976. Chairman of Ghana's Parliamentary Select Committee on Sports, Kwapna Men Sanwayume, is optimistic the bill will take care of the challenges in the sports industry. It's welcome news. I mean, we've actually been under pressure, um, both locally and internationally. And so you realize that uh, the, 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 uh, the, the legislature uh, is sort of under pressure because the executive had done their work already and they have given us what we need to do. So our role must be felt. And so why there's a need for us to get this and pass to, as it were, you know, get the industry running. And so that is what we did. And so if I may go a little bit into it, what the bill actually seeks to do is to um, empower this time around the entity, the authority, to do what ought to be done. The authority, the authority as is the, not in the ministry, in, as in the sports authority. Still on the sports bill, former sports minister O.B. Amwa has described the bill as nothing spectacular. The bill that has been passed to develop the sports industry, in his opinion, was done in a rush and would need a lot of effort to make it work properly. The reality is that we've been crying for this bill for a long time. So the bill has been brought in at the last moment. And when bills are brought in at this hour, one, we have to admit there's a rush. People don't even take the trouble to look at it very well. If I had my own way, I could have proposed so many amendments and it could have even delayed the whole process. So the choice was to push in certain amendments that would give us the window to still work on it, even after it's been passed. That is the regulation side. That's what I'm looking at. But that thing stops us from even amending if we have to. It's not anything spectacular. I mean, if we have had to wait for eight long years, and this is what we have produced. We've passed this stage long ago. And Ghana's under-20 female national team, the Black Princesses, will leave Accra for a training tour in Australia ahead of their 2016 FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup, slated for Papua New Guinea. Head coach Didi Dramani and his girls are expected to spend a week in Australia before leaving for the tournament, which begins on November 13. A 21-team delegation with management, members and technical team will embark on a journey and prepare the girls for the World Tournament next month. Ghana, making its fourth successive World Cup appearance, is in the same Group C with USA, France and New Zealand. Head coach of the Black Princesses, D.D. Dramani, has been training the team at the Ghana Man Soccer School of Excellence in Prom Prom as part of their preparations for the competition. D.D. Dramani says his team's preparation is on course and they can stand up to be counted when the competition commences. In terms of the localization of our preparation, everything has been okay. You know, there definitely will be hitchups here and there. We've not lost you know, major sessions as, as from the time we started. We've utilized every, every day session. These girls have really worked tirelessly and I believe that something positive will come out of it in the tournament. The former Maidens medal winning trainer said he and his charges have completed about 75% of preparations needed for the tourney, despite the lack of time to assemble the local and foreign players. The former Asante Kotoko manager is by far happy with the commitment and enthusiasm demonstrated by the ladies during the period and is positive this can propel the team to perform in the competition. Team captain Fatima Al Hassan is sure of progress in their upcoming tournament. Ghanaian should expect more from us because the first time we were not able to make it, but with the past experience and then those who are from the 17 has drained on we will be able to make it. They should just keep praying and then supporting us. We will make we will make it. 